Hi, it's the Florida Law Guy. Today we're talking about withholds of adjudication. Now, a lot of my clients mistakenly refer to this as a withhold of adjudication, but regardless of what you call it, it is still a very important concept that is very beneficial to criminal defendants. And this episode will teach you why it's so beneficial and what the eligibility requirements are for receiving a withhold of adjudication. The job of a judge is to make judgments. The fancy legal term for making judgments is to adjudicate. If a person is found guilty or not guilty by a jury or enters into a plea bargain, nothing is official until the judge signs the paperwork, which is called a judgment. If the jury comes back not guilty, the judge signs the judgment that says the defendant is adjudicated not guilty. However, when a person is found guilty, the judge has two options. Most of the time, the judge enters a judgment of guilt and adjudicates the defendant guilty. The judgment also contains the written terms of the sentence, and the documents are referred to as a judgment and sentence. However, Florida judges have the option to sometimes withhold a formal adjudication of guilt. What this means is that the defendant will still be sentenced, but the judge is not formally entering a judgment of guilt. This is called a withhold of adjudication. Receiving a withhold of adjudication is a huge deal because a judgment of guilty is not entered against the defendant. If a person is found guilty of a felony, they become convicted felons. In Florida, convicted felons lose their right to vote. Convicted felons are not allowed to have any firearms in their possessions and can get up to 15 years in prison if they're ever caught with a gun. Convicted felons are not allowed to obtain some state licenses necessary in Florida for different types of employment. Convicted felons often have trouble obtaining credit and have difficulty renting apartments. Also, most job applications specifically ask if the applicant has ever been convicted of a crime. People convicted of drug possessions also lose their driver's licenses automatically for two years. A withhold of adjudication prevents all of that from happening. A person with a withhold for a felony is not a convicted felon, and they do not lose their right to vote or their Second Amendment rights. And if asked if they have ever been convicted of a crime, a person with only a withhold of adjudication on their record can swear on a stack of Bibles and honestly answer, no, I have never been found guilty of any crime. A person who receives a withhold for possession of marijuana or a controlled substance does not lose their driver's license. Now, generally, judges withhold adjudication for misdemeanors or third-degree felonies if the person has no prior record. If a person's record consists of only misdemeanor convictions, they're still eligible for a possible withhold for their first third-degree felony charge. Judges are also allowed to occasionally give withholds for second-degree felonies if the state attorney agrees and the court finds mitigating circumstances. However, a defendant with two or more prior withholds may not obtain a withhold of adjudication for any felony. Now, not all crimes are eligible for withholders of adjudication. Judges cannot give a withhold for first-degree felonies, life felonies, or capital felonies under any circumstance. Judges also can't give a withhold of adjudication for a DUI. A withhold of adjudication is not a get-out-of-jail-free card and is not the same thing as having a case dismissed. These withholds are still part of your public record and can be found by anyone doing a background check. Most importantly, withholds count as prior convictions if a person ever gets into trouble again. For felony sentencing guideline purposes, withholds are scored exactly the same as any other convictions on the score sheet, and they count as prior convictions when determining if a defendant is eligible for enhanced punishments like being classified as an habitual offender. It's also important to remember that non-citizens are still subject to deportation regardless of whether the judge withholds formal adjudication or not. It's completely free, so please support my mission to help make Florida law simple for the public to understand by liking and clicking the subscribe button. The way YouTube's algorithms work, the more likes and subscriptions a channel gets, the easier it is for others to be able to find it. So by subscribing, you'll also be helping others. Thanks for watching. See you next time.